Sweat, defense, right-handed for the USA. Block, Walsh Jennings, of course, at the net. Three times world champion, three times Olympic champion in her seventh world championship. USA put into serve by Brazil. And there is the first block away by Kerry Walsh Jennings. What a spectacular start for the American. And in the shape of her life, at 40 years of age, she really is in great physical shape and mentally strong as well. Brooks Sweat with the serve. Duda sets Agatha. Agatha goes over the top of the block, right to the line. Yeah, I think, Nick, you are right on point there. Carrie Walsh Jennings looks like she's in maybe the best shape of her life. And we know how mentally strong she is. Always prepared, always ready to go. And today is no different. She would love to get another world championship under her belt. Good shot from Brooke Sweat. I watched Kerry Walsh Jennings in the Players Hotel earlier today. I sat at the table opposite. She was taking breakfast on her own, so content, so calm, so happy with her world right now. I think that Kerry Walsh Jennings is in the perfect place to strike for another major before her career is over. Whether it's here in Hamburg, whether it's in Tokyo next year, uh, there is no question of doubt. And personally, Dane, I think it's sensational for the sport that athletes are going into their late 30s and early 40s and still playing at world level. Well, just think about it. She played on the United States indoor team in the Sydney Olympics in 2000. And then it's been four consecutive Olympics on the beach for Kerry Walsh Jennings. And every time she's in the Olympics on the beach, she brings home some jewelry, right? Three golds and a bronze with April Ross in 2016. And there's no stopping her. She looks sharp and she looks poised to possibly make the team in 2020 again at 40 years of age and possibly bring home some jewelry. Two decades of Olympic competition, that is truly remarkable. But they're going to side out and they're going to push each other to the best of their game here. Both teams fully focused, playing top class beach volleyball from the get go. There's no warm-up required for these four players on court. Duda with the serve. Here's Walsh Jennings setting Brooke Sweat. Brazilians fall off, drop off the net. It's another good strike from Brooke. Seven points total on the board. Quick side switch, change of ends. Every seven, 14 and 21 points. Big component of this match will be Brooke Sweat. She's going to be tested and she is going to be pushed. She's going to have to have great vision. Walsh Jennings is going to have to communicate with her to help her get that ball to the sand. Duda sets Agatha. Agatha goes, block is there. Oh, good pickup from Duda. Well, Brooks Sweat had a clear view, almost an open shot there. Definitely a free ball thrown away. It's got to not let those errors chip away at your confidence. First thing that Kerry Walsh does is go to Brooke and say, forget about that one, let's keep going. Yeah, that's the sign of a leader, right? Bringing up your teammate, and that's a testament to how successful Kerry Walsh Jennings has been over her career, always making her partner better. Oh, and that's uh, an uncharacteristic shot from Agatha. She too has been a world champion in her career back in 2015. Of course, she was playing with Barbara Seychas then. This uh, Brazilian duo, undefeated in pool plate, three and zero. They yet to drop a set in this 12th FIVB World Championship. Yeah, that stark contrast to the Americans who won just one match in pool play, lost two, but were able to get out of pool without being a lucky loser. They didn't have to play the play-in game to the round of 32. They were already in the round of 32 by a point ratio. And so they're going to have to step their game up for sure here against Brazil, who really started the tournament on fire.
Yeah, this is not pool play now. We're in the elimination rounds. It's a simple calculation. You win, you stay in the tournament. You lose, you're heading home. And Brazil up the tempo just a little. Start to make their mark here. That was a spectacular play. Look at Duda extend with her right. And then she has the ability to get up, get set and ready. And she crushes it on the outside left of Walsh Jennings. Not an easy shot with her shoulders facing cross court. Duda with the service. That's too deep, too long. Easy point back on the board. And this rally point score rule of beach volleyball. Kerry Walsh with the float serve. Good cover from Brooke Sweat. Good block from Kerry Walsh Jennings. 7-6 to the United States of America. Loving the energy and intensity from Kerry Walsh Jennings. Yeah, she's stepping it up a notch right now. Back at defense, and look at Brooke Sweat. That is what she is great at. Playing defense, reaction time in the back, and this is vintage Walsh Jennings taking away a line and forcing the player to hit it into the net. That's another good shot from Agatha. Another very experienced player, just 36 years of age, out of uh, Rio de Janeiro. They had a good build-up as well. I like the prep for these World Championships from the Brazilians. One gold, one bronze, and one final four in the three FIVB World Tour events, building up to these World Championships. They're peaking just at the right time of the season. That's not what we were hoping for from uh, Agatha's serve. America will take that easy point with a smile. Brooks Sweat to the back of the USA court. Agatha coming in from the left side and putting it away. The 2018 FIVB most inspirational player, also sports person of the year on the FIVB tour. She is a legend in her own right in Brazil. Oh, accuracy for Brooke Sweat hitting the X in the corner. Don't drop, because she will pick you apart. Look at how accurate that shot is to the deep corner. And here's her partner, Kerry Walsh Jennings, serving for the USA. Good cover from Brooke Sweat. Can she finish? Second attack from uh, Young Duda. By far the youngest player on the court. Still only just 20 years of age. Seems to have been around for so long on the world senior tour. Yeah, it's wild she's only 20. You, you think of this, she's been out here for so many years, but she has been making noise for some time, and I think it's a huge pickup for Agatha to be playing with her. I think in the future, we might see Duda with Anna Patricia, who is a solid blocker, just 20 years old. And there's an ace serve by Agatha in the backcourt. Serving pressure, so important. But yeah, Anna Patricia, just 20 years old, Duda just 20 years old. Imagine if they joined forces. I probably would guess that that might happen after the 2020 Olympics. Heading into Paris 2024. Agatha looking for her second day serve, right down the center of the court. Good communication between the Americans and the result. Scores all tied at 10 all. One more point to be contested before we head into the technical timeout. Takes us to the halfway of the Opening set. Brooke Sweat has been incredibly accurate with her placement of the ball. Here's Brooke with the service right down the middle of the Brazilian players. Duda. Good cover again from Brooke Sweat. Can she finish to take the lead going into the break? Duda has it covered. 
Great play again from Brook. Beautiful defense. And Duda puts it into the net. Oh, well, Kerry Walsh turns and congratulates her partner. Well, that was a defensive exhibition by Brooke Sweat in the backcourt, getting it done. You know, on the domestic tour in the United States, Brooke Sweat has won the Defensive Player of the Year four years, and she's done it by defense like this, sacrificing her body with the left to keep the play alive. Once again, a different angle, and Kerry Walsh Jennings locked in to clean up and finished it off. You know, the Brazilians have missed a lot of shots with Carey in their face, and that won't make any blocking statistic, but it is because of the block. The intimidation factor is absolutely huge. Yeah, look for my opening. Good shot. Great blocking. Do you want to start doubling her up a little bit? Do you like that, or? Yeah, I got to play around with the forge more. Some creative camera work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reflection yeah, of those Oakleys right yeah. there. But you know what Carrie was asking, Brooke, is do you want to double up on times? That means blocking and digging the same exact area. So doubling up in the angle or doubling up in the line, really taking away a strong tendency. And Brooke said, yeah, you know, we should, should do that a couple times. So it'll be interesting to see the defensive set of the Americans in this next play. First half of the opening set, the USA have the lead, 11 to 10 against Brazil. Brooke Sweat with the serve, but it is Aguda that squeezes that ball between the block and the net of the American court and ties the scores just in time through the gap, 11 all. She hits that ball right in the seam between the blocker and the defender. Sometimes when you don't know where to go, that's where you hit it. Is Agatha on the attack for Brazil? Well, that's the play that the Americans were hoping to make successful. Brazil take the lead back at 12 to 11. Agatha really pumped. It always is a needle match when it's Brazil versus the USA. Both countries, such a history in this sport. Both of them see the sport as theirs. Brooks Sweat and Lucky trying to come up short. Oh! Kerry just missed the ball there. That little touch that she was hoping for. Just missed her hand. Lost Jennings right in the spot, controls it, and this is the shot oh, to, a touch to hit, it. but just couldn't execute it. A little bit out of reach, and Agatha knows that that is a huge point that could have easily went the other direction. Break for Brazil at 13 to 11. Duda with the serve. Another good strike of the ball from Brook Sweat. Important side out, that was for the USA. Kerry Walsh Jennings. from Manhattan Beach, California, serves Agatha. Another great cross-court spike from Agatha. She too moving around the court effortlessly at the moment, making it look so easy. Big hit by Agatha going to her right. She puts it away. You know, I notice on Agatha, and maybe Duda has the same thing, but she's wearing a heart rate monitor and it is all about technology these days and feedback and statistics. We have the uh, real-time body sensors that calculate how many kcals and jumps. I wonder how she is monitoring her fitness with that heart rate monitor. Very interesting to see. Brooks went with the serve. The USA continue to target Agatha with their service. Oh, what a great turn and burn from uh, Kerry Walsh to keep that ball up. Duda, great 
Defence from Team USA, no choice for Brooks Webb, but just to bump the ball over. Oh, just a slight touch of the ball on the block from Kerry Walsh Jennings gives the point to Brazil. 15-13 to the South Americans. There's the heart rate monitor around the torso of Agatha. Monitoring her every beat. Beautiful shot from Walsh Jennings. You know, a way to use that heart rate might be tracking how calm you can make yourself in between rallies because so many people, similar in tennis and volleyball, you have a break in between rallies and it's so important to calm yourself down. Again, a touch off the block of uh, the American. Gives the point to Brazil. The break is back on at 16 to 14. USA needs to side out here. Agatha with the service for Brazil. Agatha serving Brooke Sweat. Sweat now on the attack. The kiss off the tape. Duda has it covered. Now attacks for Brazil. Down the line she goes successfully. The business end of the opening set, Brazil, ball three, clear. And Team USA call their 30-second timeout. Each team can stop play for 30 seconds once in each set. Timeout is what we give, or what we call it. That 30 seconds gives the USA the chance just to slow the momentum of Brazil. And as we can hear and listen in, maybe a change of tactic. Love the communication, a lot of it, a lot of uh, confirmation and assurance going both ways. Strategy being thrown out by Brooke Sweat and Kerry Wallace Jennings confirming that's what we want to do. RTBS shows us that uh, Kerry Walsh Jennings, 35 jumps to uh, 26. That's her counterpart, Agatha, the blocker for Brazil, who now serves. Again, Brooks Webb over on two, works nicely. Big side out for the USA, justifying the call of the timeouts as well. Smart play, right? We haven't seen that over on two just yet. That time, Jerry Walsh Jennings putting it away, and that relieves a little pressure for Brooks Webb. Trouble. Oh, wow, a wide set, looked like they were in complete trouble. Kerry Walsh Jennings had the block sealed and somehow the ball is poked to the deep corner by Duda and Brooke Sweat just a little bit too shallow to get that one. And here is Duda with service. Great shot from Brooke Sweat. A very important side out for the USA. Love Brooke Sweat's game. You know, she's not the tallest player out there, but so crafty and creative. Always going up against a taller blocker. Just five feet, eight inches tall, 173 centimeters. And oh, there's an ace. That's just when it was needed. Great serve from Kerry Walsh Jennings. Narrowing that advantage of Brazil to just one point. What a beautiful serve. Dropped right in the middle. Confusing serve. She's going to probably go right back to the same area. Agatha on the attack. And that ball is out of play. Scores are tied at 18 all. Good pressure from the Americans. 
And it looks like Brazil called their 30 second timeout. You've only got 1%. You might as well use it. But the reason behind Brazil calling it, out of the five points, four of them have gone to the USA. And the speed of which they scored those last three. It's given the Brazilians no choice but to stop the play and reassess the situation. Agatha looks a little bit frustrated, a little concerned after giving up four of the last five. And looked like this first set was in control with Brazil, and right now a solid push by the Americans have gotten themselves right back in it. And Carrie Walsh Jennings, she knows something about that extra gear towards the end of a set where you have to really push through and close it out. And it's gonna take everything to do it against these Brazilians who are so efficient at scoring points. 18 all in the first set here. It's an elimination round at the Beach Volleyball World Championships. Kerry Walsh Jennings serves for the USA. Agatha on the attack. Well, that was a good timeout, wasn't it? Brazil get to regroup, refocus, come out from the dugout after the 30 second break and side out immediately to take the lead to 19 to 18. Good tactical play from the South Americans. Now the heat is on the USA. They need to side out on the Brazilian serve. Kerry Walsh Jennings. Oh, it's out of play. Set point for Brazil. Relatively routine play. Maybe a little lapse of concentration by Walsh Jennings and hits that one wide. Good save from Walsh Jennings. Oh, but the first set has gone the South Americans' way. 21 to 18. Tough way to end it, Nick, right there. A Very. poke shot out of bounds and then an errant pass to the net by Brooke Sweat. Walsh Jennings tried to save it, but ended up a free ball. It all started with this tough serve. Brooke just got it off the wrists a little bit too close to the net. Free ball situation for Brazil. And you can't give a player like Duda a free ball situation. Because she knows exactly how to put it away. Takes a look at the defense, crushes it right in that vulnerable seam again. Pressure on the Americans now who have to win the second set to stay in the match. already seen success from Team USA. Kelly Clays and Sarah Sponhill going through in their elimination match. Same story for Sarah Hughes and Summer Ross. Let's take a look at these match stats, uh, Dane, and see if we can glean a, a new, fresh approach for Team USA to come back at Brazil here. The number's not too far off right there. You know, the Brazilians, they are siding out at a higher level. and. That's about it. You clean up a few things. Walsh Jennings gets a couple of blocks, and you win that first set. And plays like that. That's what it takes, but it has to happen at the end when you want to close out. These Brazilians know how to close, but so does Walsh Jennings. First point on the board to the USA in their must-win second set. Looks sweat with the float serve to Duda. Kerry Walsh drops off the net perfectly. Can she finish over the top? Great play from the Americans. In system. Technically strong. 2-0. Brooke Sweat continues to target the young Duda with her serve. It's a change of plan from Brazil. Good shot from Duda. Kerry Walsh Jennings is blocking angle on Duda. 
Brook Sweat is taking the line, and Duda has really recognized that set very early and has had no problem just going over the top. A oh, powerful hit by Brooke Sweat cross court right there. Duda's in the spot, can't control it. And Agatha tries her best, but that ball hit just a little bit too hard by the 5 8 Brooke Sweat. Oh, wonderful save and dig from Brooke Sweat, but she's unable to finish it. Duda this time getting into the action. Kerry Walsh Jennings just slightly late on this final block of the rally. There's the scoop up by Duda. Walsh Jennings wait. She goes up just slightly late, I think, and gets tooled out of bounds. Kerry Walsh Jennings, a seven-time blocker of the year on the FIVB tour. An intimidating force. Agatha with the serve. Brooke Sweat has been the target of the Brazilian service throughout this match. But Brooke Sweat holding her own here. Good save from Duda. Another attack over on two from Walsh Jennings. It's been an effective play, not overused, but when needed, Walsh Jennings has made this uh, tactic work to her advantage. You know, I, I really like it, and I think that the combination with Brooke Sweat and Kerry Walsh Jennings, they should do this more often. If it's an aggressive over on two like that option play by Walsh Jennings, it is so hard to defend against. I, I honestly, for their connection, don't think they do it enough. Because Brooke Sweat does get picked on a lot in terms of targeted in serve receive, and that would relieve a little of the pressure. It's a perfect weight on the ball. Choice shot from Agatha. Similar story to the opening set, isn't it? Trading side out, incredibly close. Great skills from all four players on court. But Brazil seemed to have that extra focus to close it out at the end. Oh, is that too long? Yes. Oh, it looked like a really pretty shot by Brooke Sweat. I know what she was seeing out there, that open court, the blocker dropping. If I could just drop it in the inside of that line and it ends up just an inch long. This one is extremely close. Wow. Sometimes you just know in your mind the correct shot. You see it, but actually getting the ball there is the tough part. Well read by Brooke Sweat, seeing both the Brazilian players staying mid to rear of their court. Cuts the shot short. Advantage back with the USA at 5-4. to four. Kerry Walsh Jennings to serve. This time the Brazilians go over on two from uh, Duda. She didn't really have a lot of choice. But she made it work nonetheless. Due to going on the second contact, it's very difficult. That's kind of an offhand second contact hit. It's got to cross her body, and she made it look really simple. Oh, that's a beautiful touch on the ball from young Duda. She's having an exceptional defensive match, but she's also getting her fair share of kills as well. The rotation on that ball really is what is impressive. And gets it right to the sand, right on top of that line. This crowd, pretty impressive. You know, Ludwig played in the last Imagine it was dead packed, and not too many people have left. They are excited to see not only the three-time 
an Olympic gold medalist in Kerry Walsh Jennings, but also the defending champions of the World Tour Finals, which took place right here in Hamburg a year ago. Agatha and Duda. Great serve from Brooke Sweat. And a valuable point on the board for the USA from service. Right in the middle, short. Agatha lunges, but it's just too good right there. Another good service deep into the Brazilian court from Brooke Sweat. She's given Walsh the cover. Walsh sets her partner over the top of the pokey. Duda has the cover this time for Brazil. Good play from the young Brazilian, just 20 years of age. We knew she was going to be a superstar. She won the under-19, under-21 World Championship, then the 2014 Youth Olympic Gold. And having Agatha guide her through her early years has been such a help. Perfect hands from Duda. Oh, just let that ball drop a little low. Duda extending and thinking that she's a little higher than she was right there. And when you're jumping off balance to your left like that, it can be very difficult. That ball drops just a little too fast on her, ends up right in the top of the net. Good serve, it looked like it was swinging out of play, but what Duda didn't want to do is take the risk and it clipped the line. Well, the pressure has been put on by the United States. They've been serving the ball tough and that is what has caused some of these errors by Brazil. Let's see if Kerry Walsh can keep the pressure going. Well, this time, Agatha pokes that ball over the top of Kerry Walsh Jennings' block. Just a really nice shot. You heard Kerry Walsh Jennings yelling, go, go, go. I think she believed that Sweat was going to be behind her covering the line. Oh, that is a beautiful scream, never mind call, from <laughs> Agatha for her partner to leave that ball. She was watching it from behind. Smart play. <laughs> Pulls her hands up in the air. I hear you loud and clear, <laughs> says Duda. That but, was uh, I, quite the scream. <laughs> it was. I can hear it from up here. But it uh, pays dividends for Brazil because they tie the scores at 9 all. save from Agatha. Brook Sweat. Over on two is read by Agatha. Now that is a great play. Beautiful blocking from the Brazilian. 10-9. Now take a look at this play right here. The Brazilians, they knew it was an option play to carry Walsh. She's on the right side that time, so it's very difficult to hit on two. You have to wait for that ball to cross. When she's on her traditional left side, the over on two is much easier. So the Brazilians saw that one coming. Again, superb cover from Duda. Smashes that ball cross court. 11-9. Now at 11.9, after the next point, we'll head into the technical timeout. So there's no point in the Americans using up their timeout for the second set. Agatha getting really pumped up here. Here she is with service. Brooke Sweat 
There's a little touch on the ball from Kerry Walsh Jennings, but again, Duda has it covered. Oh, lucky for the USA. Duda's shot bounces off the top of the tape on the net. And uh, the USA pull one back. Very tight indeed at the halfway point of set two with the advantage to Brazil at 11 to 10. But the South Americans have already won the first set at 21 to 18. Therefore, the USA just need a little more, Dave. Just need to find top gear to try and take this to a third set tiebreak. 10 more kills for Brazil, but also two more unforced errors. And we've seen a lot of errors of Duda at the net, trying to poke it over that last time, trying to hit the ball. I think the ball is dying on her left shoulder and she's right-handed, so she has to try to reach across her body to get it. If I was Agatha, I'd push that ball a little further outside to the antenna. I think it would open up her offense a little bit. But for the United States, you know, they have played well. They just have to continue to keep the pressure. This Brazilian, Brazilian duo waits for you to, to have a little bit of a lapse in concentration or focus, and that's when they jump on you. Second half of set two. America need to step up here, take this game to the Brazilians. Good cover from Brooke Sweat. There's a set from her partner. Duda again has done no wrong defensively for Brazil, and look how she puts it away. It's almost as if, Dane, when she's successful in the defense, it gives her that added motivation to finish it with the kill. If she has a poor performance in the defense, then her attacking play seems to drop as well. It's true, when you, you have that nice defensive play, it kind of energizes you, charges you up, and... Kerry Walsh hits that ball out, but she immediately motions for a challenge. She wants a block touch. The ball clearly out of bounds, so the referee asks Kerry, would you like to challenge in or out or block touch? And Kerry has chosen a block touch, so we'll see if Brazil touched this ball. I don't know that they did real time. It didn't look like it, but... We have been surprised many times today with that Hawkeye technology. Doesn't miss much. The United States, I'll tell you what, could really use this point. Absolutely. Look at uh, Agatha here, talking through the whole procedure with uh, Duda. No touch at all, I don't think. Let's watch one more time. No touch is the call. It's a close call, but the score remains, as you see on your screens, 13 points to Brazil, 10 to the USA. Brazil have already got one set to zero. The USA must win the second set to stay in the match. That's a good strike of the ball and a very valuable side out for the Americans, 11 to 13. I like Kerry Walsh pinching a little bit, getting that serve received and so she can get an opportunity offensively. Oh, what hustle and what effort right there by both Brooke Sweat and Carrie Walsh Jennings, but not enough. It stays on their side point for Brazil. That ball had to go over that last contact by Carey, and it just goes up and downs. And nice drop, nice dig. Everything was there, they just couldn't keep it in. Brazil starting to turn up the heat a little bit. As they did in the first set, Dane. Carey Walsh has just hustled and fought for every point. Right now, Team USA just being squeezed out here by the Brazilians. Well, that jump float from Agatha is too long. Service error from Brazil, valuable point back for the USA. 12 to 14, Brooks Sweat to serve. Oh, that shot has been so successful for Brazil. 
sixth or seventh time now. Agatha has put this one away on the angle. I love the follow through with Agatha right there, guiding, snapping the wrist, great contact and getting the ball to the sand as fast as possible. And a big serve from Duda. Gary Walsh Jennings having equally as good a match as Agatha. Gary Walsh Jennings, a three-time world champion herself, 2003, 2005, and 2007, did it all in a row. She would love to get back into that winner circle. And mentioned earlier, Agatha winning with Barbara in 2015. So you got former world champs on both sides going at it at the net. One over and one unsuccessful. Oh, is that ball out or in? It's in. Touches the line. Duda celebrates and a little relieved to go with it. At one point, she thought she'd push that final play out. Let's watch the slow mo carefully because it's right on the edge of the line. Here's the drop shot. Just on the outside, couldn't be more perfect. You know, Duda, more times than not, is going to the ground, jumping off balance and finding herself laying on the sand. Yeah. And that time, as she gets up with a huge smile, thanking, thankfully, that that ball is inbounds. Heats on the USA, Brazil draw three clear. Very well, Jennings sets up Brooke Sweat. Good strike of the ball from Brooke Sweat, but Duda has it covered. Duda sends one back at Brooke. Good play from America. Great defense from Brooke Sweat, taking full force of Brazil and keeping the ball up on both occasions. Brooke Sweat, so good on defense, so poised, so controlled. And she extends that rally just long enough for Kerry Walsh Jennings to get the kill. Brazil still with a two point lead. Brooks Sweat to serve for the USA. Serves it to the middle of the two Brazilian players. Duda on the attack. Duda's kill stats individually will be impressive. She has done no wrong in defense or at the net. That little poke. Closing in the hands of the fingers. Three-point advantage back with the South Americans. Duda serves Brooke Sweat. Beautiful shot. There is no question that the quality of play from uh, Welsh Jennings and Sweat is possibly the best they played throughout the whole of this championship. They just need to find maybe a little bit of luck to try and take the second set. Oh, and there it is again, this time Agatha. Over the top of Kerry Walsh's block. And they're starting to squeeze it out at the business end again, Dave. Yeah, they're playing so smart, yeah. right? They're not allowing Walsh Jennings to get the blocks by trying to challenge her and hit the ball at her. They rather challenge Brooke Sweat in the backcourt, poke the ball around, make her pursue defensively, and that's what's given the United States all sorts of problems. Well left from uh, the Americans. They deserve a little bit of luck. Easy point on the board. Some aggressive serves needed from Brooke Sweat and Kerry Walsh Jennings now. They need to tie these scores. Duda on the attack for Brazil. Good cover from Brooke Sweat. Over on two from Kerry Walsh Jennings, unsuccessful. Oh, and Duda tools that ball off the block of Kerry Walsh Jennings to go 19-16. Two away from wrapping up this elimination match. It's been a busy night for American Beach Volleyball. Two out of the three teams have gone through, but the third 
and perhaps the one that we all admire the most are in a bit of trouble here. Match point for Brazil. Duda and Agatha have been brilliant. And if they can maintain this kind of focus and pace of play, this Brazilian team will take some beating in this World Championship. I think we're watching the gold medalists on screen right now. And sadly, for some, it's the South, not the North Americans. It's not for a lack of effort. The United States groveling, trying to make that play. And once they got it over the net, wow, was Duda wound up and ready to crush. The Brazilians just have been in control this second set. You know, I think when the United States lost that first set, when it was so close, the momentum really swung to Brazil, and they just never let up. It's a great timeout right here by the Americans. It's kind of a last-ditch effort to get something going here, but it's going to be tough. Trailing by four points, there's going to be at least four set points for Brazil and you and I know it's tough for Brazil to give up four in a row if not impossible well Gary Walsh Jennings and Brooke Sweat have had their best match of the tournament here tonight is it good enough to get them out of trouble here Brooke Sweat on the attack again the cover from Duda Duda now looks to close it out and there's a touch on the block. Brazil have beaten the United States of America. All four players on court playing an amazing match. The skill level, the highest we've seen in the women's tournament. But it is Brazil that beat the United States of America. Two sets to zero. 18-21, 16-21. Three American teams in action tonight, two go through. Sadly, one is knocked out. And if Brazil can maintain this form throughout the next five days, I'm not sure there are many out there that can stop them claiming the World Championship title. Agatha and Duda, absolutely brilliant from start to finish. Kerry Walsh Jennings at her best here tonight but not quite enough to stop the South Americans. They know how big this match victory is. Look at the stats, an incredibly tight match, but it's the 34 kills to just 19 from the USA that tip the scales in Brazil's favor. And the South Americans advance to the next round. Sadly, we say goodbye to Kerry Walsh Jennings and Brooke Sweat. Unbeaten in pool play and unbeaten in their first elimination match, and the Brazilians are still to drop a set. Let's go down to Dane Blanton, who is with the winners, Agatha and Duda, on centre court. Dane, to you. Agatha, Duda, congratulations on the win. There's something special here on this court. You won a year ago, and it seems like it's starting to come together now. Is that the case? Are you feeling it? Uh, we're feeling the support about the Germans here. Really, uh, we don't play against Germans in this moment, but for me, I feel it. the support is for Brazilian, for us in this moment. And this is very nice. I love this. And we have good memories from Hamburg because last year it was 
wonderful. We won here in the, the finals. So I think, I hope we have more members like this. Absolutely. It looked like the strategy was to take Carrie out of it, give her very little touches. You went to Brook Sweat quite often. Was that the game plan? Yes, because the Gills is the play very well. The three games, the hard, the hard game. But now, today is concentration, story more, because they, they play very, very well. Let me ask you this final question. Any tweaks or adjustments that need to take place for you to win a world championship? Any adjustments that you need to make in order to win a world title? What we needed to do? Yeah, any, anything you want to change because it looks so good right now. Do you want to change anything? Uh, you think we change something? No, do you want to? Do uh, you need to? If you want. I think one, one thing that is very good from our team because we are very flex uh, adapted from another teams. So we play against these girls with you and I don't know who will be tomorrow, but sometimes we need to do a different service, a different hit. And we have this dude and I, we can change the things against it uh, depends of the against who you will play right you make the adjustments to who you play congratulations thank get you. some rest and uh, good thank luck you. Thank, you. thank you brazil thank you. well uh, brazil absolutely delighted to have beaten the usa 2-0 and of course kerry walsh jennings and agatha have been battling it out on the world tour for over a decade Sadly, Walsh Jennings is heading home with Brooks Sweat, but Agatha and Duda truly are a force to be reckoned with. I'm afraid that's...